Lawmakers need to pass a health care plan that includes Medicaid expansion or Arkansas could lose millions of dollars in federal money. Senate Majority Leader Jim Hendren says his task force also discovered the many flaws in the private option, including the verification system. Our eligibility system was completely inoperative. We had thousands of people who were either not eligible, some had died, some were out of state. It was a complete mess, and then we were not able to verify people's income. Hendren says a task force cut 20 to 30,000 people, saving the state millions of dollars. But Hendren says the private option has not been all bad. There's been some, obviously, some good things that have come about. Uh, it's helped some people. It's perhaps kept rates from going up as high as they would have otherwise. But he says long term, the cost would get high, and says the governor recognizes this. There are a lot of reasons why he's asking for changes. Those of us that uh, opposed it originally are saying that it cannot continue in its current form. The question is whether or not we can get changes that will satisfy enough people. Senator Hendren says in Arkansas, you have to get at least 75% of the legislature, so it would be tough to pass, especially in this political environment. We're in the midst of a presidential election, and you've got almost all of the top presidential contenders on the Republican side saying, I'm going to immediately repeal Obamacare. Hendren says Arkansas lawmakers need to address this at the special session in April to come up with any plan. But since many Arkansas lawmakers oppose the Affordable Care Act in the first place and Medicaid expansion, he says it will be tough to see if any legislation is passed. Yuna Lee, 4029 News.